What's poppin' everybody? It's your boy Trucker Snap. So I'm making a video right now. I'm currently on the road. I'm in um Utah or I don't remember. Utah or um Colorado. Right now I'm on the I believe I'm on the 70. And um I want I made a video. What what's the video I made again? I made a video and I was talking about you know how I paid fifteen hundred to get my CD up. You can go ahead and check it out. It's like my last video I made. But I wanted to make a video um, about why owner operators don't respect company drivers. And this is just content for you know people who want to get into trucking, curious to understand the difference, you know, between lease drivers, company drivers, owner operators, you get it. Um, now the difference between lease, and oh, I wanted to say, if you have any questions about trucking, just drop into the comment section, I'll always answer, and um, also, if I see it as a good question that's valuable to people, I'll make a video about it. It's nothing for me to just make a quick clip. And explain, you know, my knowledge and what I know and understand to the best of my ability. Okay, so I'm a company driver. I've leased a truck before. Leasing pretty much is um, leasing a car. You know, it's just you don't own it, but you pay some monthly fee on it. Blah blah blah. So you lease it. So you semi own it, like how you semi own a car. Like I own it, but like for right now. You know what I'm saying? And then later on, maybe I could buy it <laughs> and etc. Let me see. All right, gotta rest my arm a little bit. So, yeah, that's lease. Company drivers, when you work for a company, solely, um, you don't own nothing. They pay for everything, um, expense-wise, fuel, this, that. Oh, I meant to say, in lease, you pay for everything as well. You pay for everything. You just don't own the truck. But um, company driver, you pay for nothing. <laughs> you don't take on no risk. You don't own anything, and um, I love that. I can come out here and make a dollar, and um, I, the only thing I gotta pay is taxes and make sure I eat some food and pay my bills at home. So I love company driving because I, I have limited risk. If my company flop, the company I work for flop um, today, I go to another one. <laughs> That's pretty much it, you know? Um, one thing, one side note, this is a Bitcoin hack, okay? I like cryptocurrencies. The reason why I, I'm not gonna say, hey, I'm endorsing Bitcoin, go buy Bitcoin. What I'm saying is, our monetary system is fucked up. So, look to invest into something else that will hold some form of value so that uh, you don't depreciate, your money don't depreciate with this US currency. Back to what we're talking about. So, owner operators, these are the guys. So, owner operators laugh at guys like me. They laugh at us, they clown us, they say we're not real truckers, they say, um, um, they say all kind of like derogative things about us. When we're, all we're trying to do is work just like them. But they say, like, we don't get to choose where we want to go, which is all true and all accurate. And um, that makes us low or less than, I guess, you know. And it's so crazy because if you're an owner-operator or you're a company driver, it's like, we're all just trying to make it, make some money. That's all we're trying to do, make some money. A, 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 you know, enhancing, enhancing life. So it's just crazy when I see owner-operators just shitting on company drivers. When we're just trying to move some loads, and just trying to do the same thing. That's all. You know, I, we don't have to be different. We could be the same. But, um, you know, you can divide us if you want to. So, only operators are um, people who own their truck outright. They might have a, they might finance it, but they own it. Like how you like can buy a car. You own it outright. You're responsible um, in most cases. Um, there's owner, there's sort of the difference in owner operator. You could be an owner operator under somebody else's authority. So, pretty much, you, um, you own everything. <laughs> Insurance and everything is all on you, okay? Some people are um, under authority and pretty much, you know, they have, they work with a company that can get them freight. And um, the insurance and all that kind of stuff is like, you know, they, they work with it with the, with the, with the owner operator. But you're pretty much, you own the truck, but you work under another company. So another company's name is on your truck that you own um, in most cases. So, yeah, so, you know, that's pretty much how that works. Um, I guess I just wanted to explain, you know, that part of why owner-operators clown company drivers. 
you know, this is a various amount of things. Like, for example, an owner operator chooses what, what direction they go or where they want to drive in most cases. Um, company drivers, you know, some work regional. So, like I said, I'm not giving detailed details, but um, company drivers, you know, some companies allow you to, oh, I just, work, I, I like to run south as a company driver. So, I just run all south, up, up, and down the 40 and maybe the 10, east to west. Some people like east coast. Some people like west coast. Some people like just south, you know, just the north, all, all that kind of stuff. So, you know, there are certain things for company drivers, but owner operators, they pretty much have the ability to run anywhere they want to. That's how that works. They clown company drivers for some reason. And I, uh, you know, it's okay, I guess. You know, if y'all find jokes in that, I joke about Swift all the time because um, I think Swift is a funny company. So I can understand, you know, owner operators clowning company drivers. I think it's sad because not on like they'll clown company drivers, but not all owner operators out here making money. Some owner operators are out here just making breaking even and no, nobody ever discusses that some owner operators ain't making no fucking money they going in debt some owner operators don't know how to run a business some owner operators like go out of business like trucking can take you out of business easily so easily so it's so much risk in the trucking business you know what i'm saying just like just the fact of how much insurance just the fact that insurance costs can make or break you fuel costs can make or break you just the rates of the freight can make or break you if you haven't uh, you know you have drivers driving your trucks can make or break you it's a lot of risk that's affiliated and also the direction that the the trucking industry is going should be very questionable especially since they have having self-driving trucks coming on to the network faster and faster it's coming you know people who are buying trucks i pray for you I really do. I pray for you. I hope everything works out for you because um, we've seen industries destroyed by technology, but we'll ignore it and act as if it won't happen. They'll be like, oh, no, we'll always need truckers to do rear, you know, this and that. Okay. <laughs> Time will tell. Time reveals all. All right. So I just wanted to make a quick video, I guess, to owner operators. Stop shaming company drivers. If somebody's driving a company truck, that's fine. If you want to call them a bitch, that's just a reflection of you. If you want to call them a pussy, let me not say the words. <laughs> if you have a problem with somebody being a company driver, it's your problem. That's your problem. It's not the company driver's problem because if somebody's happy with what they're doing, why are you so upset? You're a company driver. You should be grateful. You're in the best position ever. So you claim to say. But um, that's my little rant for the day. Just wanted to share that. And I hope you get some value from my conversation or my um my rant. And if you have any questions about anything about in the trucking industry, please feel free to comment below and I'll answer. Or I'll, I'll, I'll make a video about it. That's your boy Trucker Snap. Peace.